Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today will be quite a short video, but hopefully it will be very informative. I want to show you a few things, must do things, until the summer ends. Let's go! When we are in this market, the first place we visit is the ugly dumpling. They do different dump dumplings with duck, chicken, prawns, together with uh, fried noodles. And we absolutely love them. Maestro! Oh, the main man, the main man! How are you doing? Yeah, good, you? Not bad, man, not bad, man. This is one of the best bubble teas I've ever tried. It's peach and mango, and it's very nice. The first thing to do this summer, until it's warm, is to visit the fine food market on Duke of York Square and to have a picnic. Because later on, when it gets colder, the market will be moved to a smaller place. Without the dress, it will be in front of partridges. So now is the best time to come here and have a picnic on the grass. Oh my god, I love these olives, especially the ones stuffed with garlic or almonds. And the sun dried ones as well. Perfect. Also, a great selection of seasonal mushrooms. They are always fresh and also best quality. If you are interested in um, me showing the fine food market completely, all the foods and everything, leave me a comment below and I will make a separate video, the big one, about this market. It's really worth it. And now let's move to Partridge's. This is one of the finest daily shops in London. It is very famous. And here you can find quite a few things that you will not be able to find anywhere else. Uh, for example, if you, can, you can see the selection of chips, crisps, with different flavors like caviar, cheese. The new one is wasabi and I absolutely love it. Truffles and so on. Honestly, I love coming here for those small, delicious things. I know they're not really good for health, but sometimes we, little, we do need this little something. Let me show you what else they have here. The next thing to do by the end of summer, while this place is still open, is to visit Anya Hindbush ice cream store. This shop has the craziest flavors of ice cream I've ever tried in my life. Honestly, having something like soy sauce, olives, vinegar, baked beans, you name it. All the big brands, they have been transformed into ice cream. We have tried almost everything here. There are quite a few flavors we loved and we bought them to take with us in big boxes. But really, this place is a must visit. If you have time, it's Bond Street, just go there and try it yourself. What is, what is birds? So yes, uh, we have bought a few packs of ice cream, one of them is Jaffa Cakes. 
this is the taste of my teenagehood of my best university years I absolutely love it um, surprisingly this is my daughter's favorite flavor as well she was the one to choose it another one I went for is modern salt it's very unusual but the combination of tastes of flavors is amazing it's the rich chocolate ice cream sprinkled with um, salt flakes it's absolutely absolutely beautiful taste I love it and the last one is lemon and barley water and surprisingly this is the flavor that was gone within the first evening because my husband tasted it and he loves this he loves lemons everywhere so somehow this one was finished within one evening i think i should return to the store and buy a couple more flavors just to have them in the freezer The next must visit spot is the Prada Outside Cafe and Ice Cream Shop. It's located outside Harrods and they're open until it's warm outside and I guess they will be close September, closer to the beginning of October. So if you have time, if you're a sweet tooth, go to Harrods on the back side, there's the Prada Cafe. Beautiful surveys. Uh, Victoria, she absolutely loves mangoes everywhere in all the states. So most likely if we go to ice cream shop, she's going to take the, uh, the mango ice cream, mango flavor. And I've tried this one and to be honest, I absolutely loved it. It's like velvety, soft, not so sugary. It's a must try. Thank you. One more ice cream shop to visit until the end of August is the Snowflake Gelaterie. They have this limited edition mango ice cream. Yes, it's mango again, I know. But this one is a must try as well as the Prada one. I'm sure that many of you saw the video on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram from the owner of this place, who was making this mango ice creams. And yes, now it became one of the most viral ice creams in London. So while there are still t two weeks until the end of summer, as long as I know this ice cream will not be made after 28th or 29th of August, we still have time to go and try it. Mm, we should definitely buy something. <laughs> Now a bit of the autumn vibes. Halloween is around the corner. Look at this one. So the Christmas decorations already and now we're in Peter Jones in Sloan Square and they have this department opened. So now people can start preparing themselves for Halloween. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think it's a bit early? I thought this was for trick or treating but a candle. It's a candle. I like this one. Ooh. What do you want to do for Halloween? Chris. Tell me. Would you be okay. dressing up? Oh. This is also a trick. Big. Big. Have you seen the glamorous pumpkin? It's okay. oh, I like this one as well. Maybe we should get a few of these ones. No. You mock me? Oh, 
Oh, this is the trick or treat one. Mama, they have the Valentine's one. That's the one for trick or treat game. I know. Wait, I found the Valentine's theme. I think it's a bit too early for Valentine's theme. It's a bit too early for Halloween, no? What? It's a bit too early for Halloween. No, it isn't. It's August. Halloween's in uh, okay, okay. two months. That's not that much. Meanwhile, uh, some places are putting up Christmas. I like this one. Same. Thank you very much for watching. I would really appreciate if you hit the like button and if you consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you. See you next time.